Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is the 25th of January 2020. Here to give you all your trusted source of news according to the price chart and as well as speak on some articles that is going on in the cryptocurrency space. Now for today, we are going to talk about Brad Garner House making a statement at Davos 2020 of Ripple going public with an initial public offering sometime in 2020 and how it will be better for one to buy Ripple stock than invest in XRP. Thank you all for watching this video on today. If you guys find our video very informative and easy to understand on our price charts forecast, hit that subscribe button. Like and share the video, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and definitely at our website at qfinancial.com in order to see our other price forecast movement in the cryptocurrency space. So now this article was written by Coin Telegraph yesterday of how Brad Garlinghouse is stating that not only will Ripple go public in 2020, but many others will follow suit in the cryptocurrency space. This is what he says, and I quote, in the next 12 months, you'll see IPOs in the crypto blockchain space. We're not going to be the first and we're not going to be the last, but I expect us to be on the leading edge or the leading side is a natural evolution for our company. Now, many people try to break down what does that mean? Natural evolution for our company. The creation of Ripple was founded on one coin, which eventually turned into XRP. And this company, Ripple, utilized XRP to create a foundation in the financial services industry. Okay. And it was used to catapult this company into this space. Seemingly, Ripple was created out of nothing. They monetized this XRP token and sold it to the masses, which I don't understand why people don't think XRP is not a security. And they took some of those funds and invested it and created agreements with MoneyGram, with SBI Bank, and many other financial institutions to utilize their products. XRP is not the only product that Ripple has. They have a, a couple of financial instruments that banks are utilizing to make uh, remittances faster, okay? So when they release their XRP tokens out of escrow into the market to sell them, they're taking the proceeds from those sales and investing it into other agreements for banks could use their other products. It's kind of like Ripple went ahead and backdoored the market to eventually become an IPO financial services company, much like MoneyGram. And if not like MoneyGram, they're definitely trying to be uh, a creator of a new space in financial services of which everyone else will have to catch up on. Now, a lot of the people in the crypto community has, you know, various bias on XRP or Brad Garland House st stating that Ripple will go public. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people don't understand what does that mean. Even other people do not even understand what IPO stands for. This is what one Twitter handle wrote. If XRP community understood what this meant, they would be stricken with joy right now. IPO means institutional investors putting money in Ripple and betting on Ripple's value as a company. What is the most valuable asset that Ripple has? Yep, this will be a huge deal for XRP. That is further from the truth. Because massive usage of XRP has already been utilized by numerable amount of banks. But yet and still, the value of XRP is not increasing. One thing for certain when, X, uh, when Ripple goes public, the value of that company will be 
insurmountable, more valuable than XRP. See, XRP is only one segment of Ripple. And I will state that Brad Garlinghouse is not focused on the usage of Ripple so much so as he is for the whole company. That's why I would rather buy stock in Ripple than buy just a small segment of that particular company. Another tweet. Why would Ripple go public laughing my ass off? They want to be Swift 2.0. Did Swift ever do an IPO? The only thing that I could think of is Ripple giving away their XRP to the central banks. Very possible. Unless you are accredited, this was another Twitter handle wrote. Unless you are accredited, probably won't be able to buy any of their pre IPO shares. I don't see why they would need an IPO anyway. Either they have bigger plans for XRP or they are just keeping things separate. I would like to believe they have bigger plans for XRP. Brad's not worried about XRP the way that many people worry about XRP. He's worried about the company Ripple and making sure that they create a firm foundation in the financial services industry. And if that means neglecting XRP, then that's what he'll do. It's obviously a bigger plan for XRP. Notice how they slow down the sales of XRP in escrow. If they wanted cash, they would just sell more XRP. This leads me to think the escrow is reserved for someone big, so they need cash to go public. It's just funny how the uh, hypothesis of what Brad Garlinghouse is trying to do, you have varying opinions, just mass confusion. And another thing that could substantiate Ripple going public is this tweet from, bring this up, Karan Kelly. He has a website, xrp.co, and being charged for receiving and sending international payments. Ripple should consider getting a banking license and or acquiring more ownership of MoneyGram. A banking license. Again, is XRP trying to be a bank? I'm sorry, is Ripple trying to be a bank? Are they trying to be a conglomerate like JP Morgan, like Bank of America, like Deutsche Bank? It's very possible. When when Brad Garlinghouse speaks on the natural evolution of a financial services company, you will have to go IPO. You will have to bring and create uh, another source of income to enlarge your footprint across the world. If banks don't want to utilize XRP, they got the option not to. There will be many or many other bridges of currency to where fiat, CBDCs, whatever the case may be, can swap from one transaction to the next. It doesn't have to be XRP. And Ripple is trying to be the company to create such avenues to where the financial services industry becomes a, a more efficient. And I just don't understand how many people think that XRP is not a security. It's clearly seen that the market is dependent on Brad Garden House and the Ripple company to go out and make this crypto valuable. That's one of the main facets in the how we test is for the expectation of some type of result. And everyone is dependent on Brad and Ripple to go out and make XRP valuable. Without that, Ripple has no purpose. Without Ripple being a company out here doing agreements and partnerships, what use would XRP be? So it is a natural evolution in Ripple to go public. I have no issues with that at all. As a matter of fact, it would be better to buy stock in Ripple than to buy the one segment of XRP. So I just wanted to go out and talk about this article, talk about XRP going public and how it could be a good thing. Uh, definitely, it would be something that needs to be looked into, seeing how they are on the forefront of this crypto technology and how they're trying to make faster payments in between banks 
can make remittances faster. Definitely Ripple can be a very, very valuable company, not just XRP. Okay, so that is my point. That's my opinion. Uh, definitely I would buy for buying Ripple stock rather than buying XRP. So now let's talk about XRP for a moment. I'm going to zoom in real quick. And we did our video in XRP uh, right there on the 22nd of January. We was looking for the market to move higher and actually it didn't even do it. So yes, this forecast that we did for XRP on the 22nd of January did not come to pass. As a matter of fact, we came in at a loss. And if we were to come in on a loss on the following day, right here on this particular close, it would be about 4% loss in the market. And there's still a lot of weakness in this space for XRP. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and let's see if anything has changed in regards to the market in XRP. So again, four consecutive days of movement lower. Now today the volume is a lot lighter. So I'm not necessarily concerned that it is gonna be a massive movement to the downside, but rather just like we did in this particular time, kind of resembles what I'm expecting in XRP over the next couple of days. Okay. I'm still seeing any cases of strength into the market though, from a daily perspective, looking here at XRP on the four hour chart, I'm definitely still seeing any cases of strength here as well too. So I'm not seeing a lot of weakness and I'm not seeing a lot of strength, but the market definitely is vying for higher prices on the hourly time frame. So we're going to have to continue to play this market in XRP. Uh, seeing some higher price, the four hour chart, three hour chart, all are insinuating movement higher. And that's how we're going to continue to anticipate this cryptocurrency moving. OK, so we're going to play the market now in XRP with movement higher. Uh, we're going to play it on a three hour time frame. And we would TP the market right there around 22 and a half cents, uh, which would be about 2% market move to the upside from where we are right now. But I'm going to keep it around 23 cents ultimately to allow this cryptocurrency to continue to trade. OK, so I don't see that much weakness in the market for XRP. We're going to continue to buy for this cryptocurrency to move higher uh, around 22 and a half cents would be initial tp and might fall a little bit shorter than that so just keep that in mind as well too so this is our updated price forecast for xrp on the three hour chart uh, we got tp at 22 and a half cents again questions comments let us know uh, make sure you always maintain that profitability and i will see you on the next one